Megan's Lamentations of Dismay, Netflix Missteps and Oprah's Hypocritical. Greetings and welcome back to Megzilla YouTube channel, listeners, and brace yourselves for the disheartening chronicle of the day. I extend to you my most regretful welcome to this broadcast, an endeavor that ought to be marked with more enthusiasm, but alas, we find ourselves shrouded in a dense cloud of despair. Our somber narrative revolves around the tumultuous lives of individuals embroiled in the chaotic realm of public scrutiny. Particularly, the hypocritical couple, Meghan Markle and Harry, have once again spiraled into the spotlight with tales that teeter on the edge of absurdity. Foremost among these accounts is the bizarre narrative of Meghan's presence at a Taylor Swift concert, an event that bafflingly managed to escape the notice of every mortal except, of course, for Meghan herself. The depths of this ludicrous spectacle are underscored by the fact that Meghan felt compelled to alert People magazine to her covert attendance, highlighting a strain of desperation that borders on the pitiable. Meanwhile, across oceans and continents, Prince Harry's foray into Singapore is a stark reminder of the bewildering confluence of celebrity and royalty that plagues their narrative. This uncanny ability to intertwine two distinct spheres with such abandon serves only to bewilder the populace, blurring the lines between solemn duty and self-indulgence. Yet, even in their quest to assert their individuality, they seem incapable of escaping the scrutiny of an ever-watchful world. Compounding this torrent of woe are the disheartening revelations surrounding the royal family's evolving roles— the winds of change have ushered in new military appointments for the working members of the royal family, adding an element of discord and instability to the already precarious equation. Within this volatile milieu, Prince William emerges as the beacon of favorability, a curious revelation given the tumultuous landscape of public opinion. But, dare I offer a glimpse of contrariness? The tides are swiftly turning, and the reasons behind this favorability may not be as they appear. The tide of tribulation crashes relentlessly upon Meghan and Harry's shore as their divergent philosophies on parenting emerge as a point of contention, a narrative so disheartening that it casts a shadow over the very foundations of their relationship. In the realm of logical discourse, one would anticipate that couples undertake conversations about their shared future before embarking on the journey of parenthood. Yet, in this odyssey, reason seems to be held at bay. But before we journey further into the depths of despair, let us pause to reflect on a visual spectacle that captured the essence of their predicament. Meghan Markle's recent foray in Montecito, enveloped in an immense coat and an abundance of accoutrements, paints a vivid tableau of distress. It is curious, indeed, that someone would adorn themselves with an acupuncture patch, proclaiming their need for solace amidst turbulent times. The juxtaposition of such a symbol with their ongoing struggle against swirling rumors of divorce and faltering businesses paints a bleak image of their reality. As we peer into the looming abyss of their existence, it becomes apparent that the very essence of their endeavors may be founded on questionable premises. Take, for instance, the curiously convenient alteration of dates when it comes to the arrival of their offspring— a strategy that may have been intended to safeguard their progeny from prying eyes, but in truth, casts shadows of doubt upon their authenticity. Meanwhile, the tendrils of misfortune extend their grasp to encompass the world of entertainment, as the intrigue surrounding a potential Netflix deal thickens. Rumblings within the echelons of the media empire hint at Harry and Meghan's dubious intentions, weaving a narrative that raises suspicions of greed over altruism. The fine line that separates influence from manipulation is trodden with caution, as the once noble Invictus Games now appear to have transformed into the Harry and Meghan show. Amidst the gloom and the squalor of their choices, questions bubble to the surface, questions that remain unanswered and resolute in their defiance. The shadow cast by the questions surrounding lineage, the very core of one's existence, lingers ominously. Yet the denial of truth seems to be the prevailing sentiment, fostering an atmosphere of deception and secrecy. In this disconcerting symphony of events, the royal family's capacity to weather these storms is tested. 
The disintegration of the carefully curated image of unity has fractured the very foundation upon which the monarchy rests. Turmoil spreads like a contagion, threatening to engulf even the most steadfast members. Meanwhile, in an era where authenticity should be paramount, it's disheartening to witness how the allure of fame and attention can corrode even the most basic principles of human decency. The glaring instance of Meghan Markle and Oprah Winfrey exploiting tragedy for their own benefit is a shocking reminder of how shallow the pursuit of celebrity recognition can make individuals, causing them to discard compassion and empathy like discarded accessories. The audacious disregard for human suffering displayed by Meghan and Oprah in their most recent escapades is simply staggering. These two women, who occupy positions of influence and power, should be exemplars of compassion and altruism. Instead, they have demonstrated a distressing pattern of prioritizing their own public image and self-promotion over the needs and dignity of the victims they claim to support. It's as if they see tragedy not as a time for healing, unity, and genuine assistance, but rather as a platform for their personal brand enhancement. The manipulation of the media, the careful orchestration of photo ops, and the artful presentation of their charitable actions highlight a disturbing trend where the authenticity of helping others takes a backseat to the optics of looking benevolent. The disturbing imagery of Meghan Markle, arranging a sea of photographers to capture her concerned look, is a clear illustration of her calculated approach. The disregard for journalistic integrity and the trivialization of a community's pain is reprehensible. What she sees as a strategy to elevate her status is, in reality, a tragic reminder of the callousness with which she treats the genuine human experiences of those around her. Similarly, Oprah's attempt to gain access to a shelter with her camera crew against protocol is emblematic of her self-centered agenda. Her subsequent attempt to spin the situation in her favor by showcasing her donations and pledges reeks of insincerity. It's almost as if her public relations team crafted her response in a boardroom, detached from the raw emotions and real needs of the people affected by the tragedy. In stark contrast, the true heroes emerge quietly, community members who rally to provide comfort, organizations that offer practical help, and volunteers who put their own lives on hold to assist others. These individuals don't require a spotlight to inspire them. Their actions are driven by an intrinsic sense of humanity and a desire to make a genuine difference. Megan and Oprah's actions serve as a reminder that the pursuit of fame, when unchecked, can warp even the most well-intentioned individuals. The glittering allure of the spotlight blinds them to the stark reality of the pain and suffering that others are enduring. They become so focused on their own narratives that they lose sight of the profound impact their actions could have on the lives of those in crisis. It's essential that society starts questioning the glorification of shallow gestures and performative acts of compassion. We must demand that those in positions of influence act with sincerity and integrity, recognizing that true empathy is devoid of ulterior motives. The media's role in perpetuating this cycle is equally concerning, as it inadvertently amplifies the messages of these self-serving celebrities without holding them accountable for their exploitative behavior. In the grand tapestry of human experience, the actions of Meghan and Oprah serve as a cautionary tale. They remind us of the importance of authenticity, humility, and a genuine concern for the well-being of others. While they may bask in the glow of temporary attention, their legacy will ultimately be one of opportunism, detachment from the realities of human suffering, and a failure to use their privileged positions for positive change. In the end, the choice lies with us as consumers of media and admirers of public figures. We must demand substance over spectacle, empathy over ego. We have the power to reshape the narrative, to shift the focus from self-serving acts of charity to genuine efforts that make a lasting impact. By raising our voices against such exploitation, we can redirect the trajectory of our society towards a future where empathy and compassion take center stage and the pursuit of authenticity supersedes the empty chase for fame.